Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Craft to Exile. Uh, so last episode, we went out to farm pharaohs, and we decided against it because uh, the gear is just not going to last, and the fact that we were getting kind of garbage gear. We have yet, you know, we've killed three pharaohs and have yet to get any pieces that we actually will be keeping. So, decided to scrap that idea, and we went to good night's sleep, and have actually come across a few items, and very first thing we're going to do is we're going to scan these, and we're also going to, uh, that's cloth. I'm not going to worry about that, uh, because the chess piece that we've got right now is actually pretty good. So yeah, we're just going to scan these, these two rings and the shield. Um, so for our rings... We got uh, this one here with a very high energy regen rate. Um, no base st stats on it, really. Uh, but it does have three rune slots. This one is nature resist and lightning resist. Uh, with, once again, a very high energy regen rate. So, it might be something that we might drop off. Because uh, this is just frost resist. Fire spell damage. I do like the spell lifesteal and the mana. So, I don't know. But uh, we're not high enough level anyways to equip them, so I'm just going to put them away for now. And then onto the shield, we have a shield with a plus 832 to armor, 8% nature spell damage, and 4.5% health. Now the big downside is we are going to lose some decks, making this chest piece uh, unusable. However, um, I think we can make up for it here. Oh no, we only have three stat points. We might actually look at that cloth vest. Because uh, it is possible that could be something usable. Um, has no armor. Uh, fire resist, nature resist, fire spell damage, and magic shield. And part of the Tankred's battle gear. But there's so much armor on this that I feel like it makes up for it. Yeah, we're going to go with this. Because I feel like I feel like this stuff is going to make up for it pretty well. Okay, and I've got that stuff repairing up. Now let's go ahead and grab our rainbow ingots and our zithrite. Um, that is going to complete this quest, and we get a weapon crafter's crate. And then we also completed that quest. Uh, so we get a bunch of XP, a cartographer crate, and some nickels. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop these, because I think we're going to have enough. No, we're not. But we're going to be close. And let's see what we have in our cartographer crate and our weapon crafter's crates. Um, tridents, looks like. Oh, we did get unidentified unique plate boots. Also for level 42. Let's see what we got. Uh, ooh. 13% uh, health, 19% nature resist, and they have pretty decent armor and health on them. Like a big jump over our level 25 boots. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. Because those are going to be a really nice jump for us. That's actually going to be a huge jump in armor, to be honest. I don't know why it does this. Why it doesn't use the rest of the fuel. Like, you have to keep throwing it back in there and recycling it back through uh, to get it to use up all the fuel. That's close enough. Okay, so goodbye to our old diamond uh, boots. We still have this, which for level 25, and this for level 25. Hopefully we'll find a good replacement for that uh, today. Okay, now at this point, um, let's go ahead and pop our stats. And we are going to go... Well, let's go strength, strength, and then let's go vitality, I think. Uh, for spells, let's take, uh, we have four spell points. Do we want to go ahead and put points into another tree right now? Yeah, I tell you what, let's, get, let's go for another tree. Do we want to do unholy uh, so we could summon undead, be an unholy paladin? kind of thing, which would be kind of cool, um, or go with something like up here, you know, nature would be pretty good, I feel like maybe Unholy might be the best bet, uh, because of the simple fact that if we take Unholy, we're looking at being in a spec that 
kind of revolves around using our health for mana. And we have a lot of health. Um, that way we're kind of, I mean, if we went with like Ranger, we don't have any decks. It would be a terrible, terrible spec for us. So yeah, I think maybe we will go with uh, Unholy. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start off with replenish your health and mana through meditation. It's a six second channel. Uh, or there's chilling touch. Converts physical weapon damage to frost and attack enemies in melee. Okay, neither of these we are probably going to be using, I don't imagine. What I really like to get up to is like the summons um, and animate scythe. Chilling touch. I don't think so. Because we have a really good melee. Let's go ahead and just take four points into that for now. Um, because what I think I'd like to put my points into is up here. And we need uh, five points into mastery. And that's going to give us some stats, which will be good. Um, oh, wow, look at our health. 5.1 thousand health now. Plus a very substantial amount of mana, uh, for that matter. Probably some pretty good mana regen as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually pretty nice, to be honest. Um, okay, so to finish out this tab, we need to go hunt unicorns. Uh, we haven't seen one yet, but let's go ahead and pop into this dimension and see if we can come across some unicorns. Start looking for some yellow on the map. And I feel like maybe unicorns would be in the mountains. So, just a guess, since right now apparently I'm not allowed to Google anything. Oh, there's a unicorn. <sighs> I called Zito the other day and they're, you know, they gave me their whole spiel about. Okay, I can't use my right click on them. Um, they gave me their whole spiel about why the internet's not working. Which probably, I'm going to call back later on uh, tonight. And I'm sure they're going to have a different reason as to why it's not working. I like how the hunt quest is for killing passives. Like, it's not even for killing, like, baby creepers that actually come after you. It's for killing the passive mobs. Veteran Unicorn. Is that a present? It looks like a present up here. Yeah, it's a present. Aha! Uh -huh. We got a Positide. I wonder if there's presents with uh, Negatide in them. Because that might be the best way to uh, to farm Negatide, to be honest. Okay, now let's see about taming one of these. Yeah, it's just basically a regular horse. Okay, well, how many more do we need? We've only killed five. Well, I'll use this. Uh, I'll use this unicorn to get around a little bit faster until we get uh, four more kills. Then this area over here looks like it could be a good area. Aha! There's all four of the unicorns that I need. And there we go. Quest completed. Unicorns. And we get 150,000 XP and a level 45 armor crafter's crate. Sounds great. And we are very, very close to leveling now. Uh, it looks like we didn't get any blues or nothing useful out of all that. Uh, we do have a bunch of adventure maps, though. A lot of these are low level. You might have to see about scrapping them. And we did get a couple more room words. Uh, we got this one that gives health and health regen. That would be good on that that uh, ring that we looked at. And then we got this one for magic, which is spell damage and magic shield. So, meh. Uh, now, we did spend our stat points. Let's go ahead and do our talents, because we have not purchased our talents as of yet. And I would like to, since we've got two points, let's go ahead and go dex and strength. And just right up through there. Now, there is a couple of these trees with a lot of armor I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. Okay, now, is there an easy way for us to, let's say, go back? Uh, oh, this route takes you to Tropicraft, which is currently only available for single player. Okay, yeah, we were just talking about that uh, at the end of the last episode. 
Before coming to the tropics, make sure you have set a global waystone up in the overworld. You need to be in creative to do this. Also be sure to bring a warp stone or scroll to teleport back. This is currently the only way to return from the tropics and subsequently why the tropics is single player only. So I guess the the old way of just going back through the portal doesn't work on here. I guess I could go to a roguelike for the time being and just kind of run through that. Uh, just so that I'm killing something be a good way to uh, to pass a little bit of time here. So let's just kind of uh, rush through the yes. We're going to have level 43 mobs it looks like. And a pretty good chance that we can level out of this. Because so. we are uh, we are fairly close to leveling. Um, the loot's liable to be kind of just non-existent um, out of here, to be honest. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and head straight for the bottom floor um, because the mobs will be quite a bit better uh, once we get to that point. Wow, that's like the closest stairway I think I've ever seen. Wow, it seems like I take like no damage. Like, with the addition of a shield, and, a, and it being a really, really good shield. This is actually crazy how, like, damage resistant I am. Okay, there we go. We got teleported out right as we were about to level. Okay, now at this point, we can pull up this bed. I'm going to move it off to the side here. And we are going to make ourselves a normal bed uh, with the hope and despair mushrooms. Okay, so we'll get our white bed and then we will get our strange bed. Uh, we'll put that in right there. Oh, come on. Unless we can make the, let me try this actually. So if we make another one of those beds here, can we use that to like warp back out? Aha! And it takes us just straight over to a nightmare. Wonderful. Alright, let me get out of this. And I either need to find presence or the ore. If presence can spawn in this dimension, I don't know. We didn't really spend a whole lot of time above ground before, so. Aha, uh -huh, we leveled up. Okay, I was finally able to do a little bit of Googling, and it does appear that this stuff should spawn down around diamond level. So like 12 and below, uh, it should be able to spawn. We just have not been very lucky, uh, to say the least. But hopefully we'll manage to come across some at some point. I don't know, I feel like caving steel, uh, probably the best option. Uh, especially like water caves that we can just kind of swim through. But we gotta stay down pretty low uh, to have a chance at finding this, so. Supposedly it's as common as diamonds, but uh, I don't know, I don't know how accurate that is. Because uh, we have not had much luck at all. I also saw that it seems like Herobrine can drop uh, the Negatite, though of course, unfortunately, ours teleported away, and I couldn't, I couldn't find him, and that's the only one that I've seen thus far. So I can't say for sure. Underwater cave system, we might, we might be able to get lucky here. We just kind of keep our eyes peeled. Like, I've been here enough times, I feel like I should have found at least one by now. Like, I'm kind of thinking that down around roguelikes might be the best places to check because it's big open spaces. Um, and just go around checking those, trying to find it. Nope, oh, I got teleported out. Okay. I'll tell you what, before we go back in, I want to make sure that I've got a strange bed. Um... Uh, and then we'll just pop in. We got Nightmare. That's great. Our roguelike is right over here. I'm just going to head straight for that. 
And we'll go around the other side here. All right, now hopefully there'll be some water caves and things like that. I mean, it's technically possible that there could be uh, some more that spawns up here, but okay, now it should be possible for it to spawn down in here. And it should be relatively regular uh, because we have huge chunks of wall exposed. If there's any place that it should be spawning, it should be down in these waterways like this. Um, it's just because there's so much exposed area. Like this area here should be ripe for it. Aha! We actually found our very first negatite ore. Oh my gosh. That has been the longest process. Um, because I've been looking for this for well over like an hour and a half, I guess. If we spend 20 minutes in here, uh, we've actually been here a lot. So there's our wretched bed. Awesome. Uh, so, so that quest is done. Then we have to get 32 of each uh, plank. Toss those into there. There we go. Ah. Uh. There's another one. Another negatite. It can happen. It just takes a really long time. And it seems like the ore is all just singles. Uh, which is unfortunate. Okay, then we have a quest here. Uh, we need to kill blazes, which I have yet to see a blaze that I can recall uh, in this dimension, to be honest. Then kill three specters, kill ten reapers. That one should be pretty easy. Uh, 32 necrom, and then we need that stuff, which I've got. Uh, there's that. There's that. Okay, so it's just kill quest at this point. But I'm going to need more negatite. Two more negatite. Uh, it looks like, luckily, fortune did double on one. It would be nice if it doubled one more one more time. Uh, it honestly, it might be best to do our kill quest in other dimensions, minus the reaper. The reaper I would have to do it here. Uh, but I do have some stuff I'd like to get done in the end. And the way that the kill quests are or the quest in general for these dimensions is laid out. It's kind of weird. Um, to the point that we're pretty much done as soon as we get this... Uh, this last little bit of negatite will be done uh, in this dimension. So, But hopefully, I don't have to spend like an abnormal amount of time to find these last bits of negatite. It's super rare though. Like insanely rare. Because I've been down around my uh, diamond level almost exclusively uh, while here. And it has taken me a really long time to actually find any of this stuff. Okay, it warped me back out. I went ahead and just uh, repaired some things up. Got our pick repaired. Now we do have the quest at this point to do the three blazes. It even says to head back to the nether. Okay. <laughs> just such random... Such random quest progression. And I think the phantoms are after the specters. We might even do some end stuff today uh, and then come back and finish this up because we do have a few quests related to the end that we do need to finish up. There we go. There is our flame on quest done. And then we'll just head back. And then, yeah, I think we'll probably pop into the end just to probably get our specters from there. I mean, yeah, we can get our specter kills while looking for the ores, but uh, we also need phantom kills and we can't get that quest until we do the specter quest. And uh, It's just weird progression layout. Oh, oops. Now, something we could do before we head to the end is go ahead and make a structure compass uh, so that we've got that. 
um, but I want the structure compass because if I recall correctly, a lot of the uh, the structures in the end are or a lot of our quests that are left in the end are like jails and stuff like that that we need uh, to find like very specific structures structures for. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to right click my horse, not murder it to death. And we also need to kill Geist while we're there. Uh, so this will give us a good opportunity for that. But we are primarily after um, killing Entrolls, which can be found in prisons. And then um, these guardians that uh, guard structures. Okay, so let's go ahead and set ourselves a target. Um, in city... Dungeons plus end rune and crypt and shipwreck and uh, prison. This right here, uh, we're gonna search for this first. And it looks like we've got one 1300 blocks off in this direction. Now we'll also be looking for geists. And I want to get a stockpile or restock my ender pearls, so may as well do that as well while I'm out. There we go. Thank goodness. <laughs> now, bridging those is actually terrible. A poised place. Oh, now we are quite a bit from it. Oh, there's an Astroth. I'm going to see if I can get a Geist off of uh, killing this, maybe. Yeah, there's, uh, there was one. Okay, now this is not an end city. This could be a purple guardian place. Uh, so we're going to check this out. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, this is just an end rod on top of a tower. Okay, now there's some sort of a structure right here. Oh, okay, just a shulker box. Efficiency 2, Fortune 1. Eh, we'll take it, I guess. Well, now there is a specter. If I can get him to come over. Yeah, here we go. Now he's interested. Ah. Okay, there's a big floating structure up there. I'm assuming that that is possibly it. And if so, that's unfortunate because it's been ripped in half. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we got a structure that didn't even spawn after all this time. Running about... And it says we've got an end crypt over here. I want to check this out. Because this may be where our purple guardians are. So wait, are these towers end crypts? Like markers for the end crypt, maybe? Ooh. Okay, so these are structures. Maybe this is where our end... Uh, Maybe where our end guardians are, at least. Nah, pur or purple guardians, I mean. Yeah, there's those. Purple guardian was firebolt. Uh, we get some common ore. Okay. Please be more than one in here. Because <laughs> if I have to go out and find three of these structures, like... I think I do. Man. Oh, there's a Geist. I at least want to finish the Geist quest. These others, we'll work on them. And maybe, you know, maybe over time I'll come back and try to nickel and dime these down. But I have to do five of those. Five of those, and I'm assuming probably five of these too. 
so it's just like a lot of running around the end like I don't think that they're probably that exciting to necessitate needing to find five of them each um, I mean it might be possible with the way they generate maybe they could generate with more than one uh, which would be kind of cool but I do not know we did pass up one though that one may not be as rare um, as the big floating jails I'm not for sure Okay, now we do have another jail up this way, uh, so we're going to head for that. Okay, so there is one of the jails, and this one has actually, looks looks like it has fully spawned. Uh, so we're going to head for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in. Uh, oh, we do have a specter. Maybe I can pull it over here in a minute. Uh, so we got a weak intro. Oh, he's mad now. And there we go. Oh, that specter was actually catching up to me. Um, I don't know that I care to do this, to be honest. This is just too many times that we have to do this quest. Um, you know, it's like super repetitive stuff. Um, and not terribly, not terribly exciting either. So, yeah, you come here though. I need you. Oh, we finished uh, the unpleasantries quest. Oh, that perfect timing too, because now all we need is reapers uh, to finish all this out. So, now I do still need a few guys. Um, yeah, three of them. I'm probably going to try and kill a few Endermen. Um, I think they can spawn from Endermen. I was thinking that we got one. I just haven't had any luck to die with it. I need just any kind of Lycanites because I've killed a bunch of Endermen. And no luck. So, okay. Uh, we are going to head down now. I got out of the end and as I was... Uh, Finishing up there, I did manage to get the last of our guy skills. Uh, so not, not terribly exciting, but it does finish out the end quest line for us, uh, which is good. That's the wrong way. I don't think I've ever actually entered from the proper way into this one. I'm not even sure if this is the, the roguelike that we've been working around or not. Um, now, I do need to kill Reapers while we're here. I don't know what was hitting me in the back there, but... Luckily, with the way these Reapers just keep chaining together... This shouldn't be too difficult. Why is there all of a sudden tons of Tormentors spawning? This is just like non-stop reapers. Okay. Yeah, I think. Oh, quest complete. Dream Eaters. Like, I haven't even got down to where I'm going to start mining. It's so fast. So fast to get the reaper kills. Okay, but I've, I have to mine around a bit um, and see if I come across the last of the ore that we need to actually finish out, uh, basically to finish out the last quest for this entire chapter. So, oh, we actually just came across another one. Uh, this one was actually buried under, oh, there we go. This one was buried underneath uh, a little bit of uncommon ore. Uh, now, at this point, we could either make a bed to leave, or we could just wait it out. Honestly, I'm probably just going to wait it out. I don't think I have that much time left. It's taken me a little bit. It's taken me a little bit, and we've got some uh, some leveling and little things like that to do. Um, 
Oh, we have a quest here to go to the Midnight. Well, we've already been to the Midnight, and I guess it, it counted it uh, retroactively. Uh, now, we did kill the Geist, so I'm going to go ahead and grab those. This is going to be about useless anyways. Um, <clears throat> let me just toss some of this stuff just to free us up a little bit of space here. Uh, and then we also completed this quest. We get an armor crafter's crate. This quest, we get a crafter's paradise crate. Uh, this one, we get a weapon crafter's crate. We'll go ahead and pop these. Uh, this one, we get a weapon crafter's. This one, we get experience, a nickel, and a cartographer's crate. Uh, this one, we get a jewelry crafter's crate. Armor crafter's crate. There we go. And then we get a crafter's paradise crate. And then we also get a bunch of XP there. Okay, so we've got a ton of XP books at this point. Um, I need like 700,000. Let's go ahead and start popping a few of these. This should get it really, really close. Okay, let me see if I can find something to kill. Because like one mob kill would do it. Okay, we should have, yeah, here's a couple zombies. There we go. Oh my gosh. Die. Okay. We got our level, so that's great. Uh, so we're up to level 44, and then we've got... Actually, we got like enough here uh, to pull out another level as well. So, yay. It'd have to be this one, but there we go. We got another level, and we've got 125,000 left over. Let's go ahead. We've got four stat points. Uh, let's take, let's see. I mean, if we could get the decks up to six, we could actually put this back on. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the, the two points into decks, uh, just to be able to equip our actual chest piece again. And then let's take, uh, Vitality and Strength, which now also means I can go back to a better chest piece. Okay, so now let's pop over to our spells. I think we're going to keep taking, we've got six spell points. Uh, let's take that... Uh, let's take four points into Summon Zombie and a point into Animate Scythe, because I do want to try that out. Um, and then for Talents, what do we have? Let's take this Vitality, and then let's take this, because I also want to get some of these armors. Um, I do believe. Okay, so we have 6.1 thousand HP at this point. Now... I want to try out, um, let's put Animate Scythe there, and let's put Summon Zombie there. So if we do a Summon Zombie, it takes a little bit to cast it, uh, but we do get this guy here. He's a level 45 veteran Summon Zombie, actually has a lot of health, uh, to be honest. And we'll see how much... Uh, Let's see how effective he is. If nothing else, he can act as... Um, well, he does all right. And he can also act as a decoy as well. Uh, but you can see he didn't really take a whole lot of damage. Killing those those mobs. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then if we take a look at the Animate Scythe. Huh, I don't know. Does it actually make an Animate Scythe though? is what I'm unsure about. Yeah, it, not exactly. I have to actually get up into melee for that. Uh, so that's going to be something we probably won't really make use of. I was thinking it would be cool if we had an animate scythe, even if it didn't last a long time. 
Um, that would still be quite nice. Conjure an animated scythe using your own health to attack enemies in melee. Okay, so it still has to be in melee. Um, meh. That's not that crazy. Uh, but I do like the zombies, for sure. Yeah, and some of these other spells actually look pretty nice, so. Alright. Um, but I know it's about wrapping up point four this episode. So we finished all of this out. Um, and then we're kind of at a point now. It looks like we can start going towards Tropicraft or Midnight. Oh, this quest actually has stuff laid out in a logical manner. We have access to pretty much all the kill quests right out the gate. This looks a bit better. This dimension, overall, wasn't a big fan of it. I don't like recolor dimensions, uh, which is, at the end of the day, really what this is. Um, and I thought the dream dimension was kind of a, a throwaway dimension. Like, there's not... A whole lot there that interests me. And this dimension really just became a big mining fest. Um, I think it's got Herobrine and Tormentors as the unique mobs. Uh, which I'm not crazy about either one. Um, and then of course there's Unicorns and Baby Creepers in the Dream Dimension. Which are kind of meh. Um, I don't even know that Baby Creepers can deal any damage. So um, Overall, kind of glad to be rid of this uh, good night's sleep. Uh, quest line and we can move on to adventure maps or tropicraft depending uh, where those levels fall I think midnight will probably be like a level 50 to 60 zone um, I want to say I can't remember whenever we went there what level the mobs were but uh, but anyways I'm going to just kind of hang out maybe do a little bit more mining while I wait uh, to get called back to the overworld uh, just to pass the time while I do some editing uh, I do believe but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. To stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.